السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is Faizan Akbar and today I will be telling the story of Prophet Musa عليه السلام and the Pharaoh, also known as Pharaoh. Let's start. رب شرح لي سدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل لغدة من لساني فقه خولي رب يسر ولا تعسر وتم من بالخير. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. It is very important to read and study the stories of the Quran. These stories contain very important lessons and warnings. After one of the longest stories in the Quran, the story of Prophet Yusuf and his brothers, Almighty Allah makes a very important pronouncement on these stories when he says, Indeed, in their stories there is a lesson for men of understanding. Surah Al Yusuf, verse 111. One of the most significant lessons we can derive from these stories is that they show us how we should invite people to Allah and what things we should stress first. The stories of the Quran make it quite clear that all the Prophet's primary message was one and the same. Calling people to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Tawheed. Moreover, these stories show that the true religion of mankind has always been one and the same. That religion which is consistent with man's inherent nature is the religion of Tawheed, the oneness of Allah. Furthermore, through these stories, the believer realizes that he is the part of one community that has existed throughout the centuries. This community has as its sole purpose the worship and good pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Muslim is not alone in his struggle to follow the straight path. Many have gone along the path in the past. They were successful in following that path. He can also be successful in adhering to it. Many of these stories show how the earlier prophets were treated by their own communities. They show that all the prophets have to face hardships and difficulties including ridicule, contempt and denial from their own people. Therefore, the prophet and those who follow in his footsteps should keep clear in their minds that when they face such hardships in their lives, earlier prophets also had to face the same. This is Allah's way. It is a test from Allah that all may have to face. At the same time, these stories make it abundantly clear that Allah gave them strength and helped them because of their patience. These stories also demonstrate how greatly Allah, Most High, blessed His true and devoted servants. While reading stories of Prophet Sulaiman, Dawood, Isa, Zakriya and Prophet Isa's mother, Maryam, one does not fear to recognize how much Allah has blessed, guided and support these pious and righteous people. It reminds the reader that if he is really working for the sake of Allah, Allah will surely help him. Allah will surely bless him and will never deprive him of the rewards of his deeds. This is the part of the fulfillment of Allah's promise to the believers. Allah has power over everything. He can do whatever he wills. Nothing occurs except his will. If he wills to alter the natural courses of events and permits miracles to happen, this is easy for him. He has done it throughout the history of mankind. This can be seen in the stories of prophets Ibrahim, Yusuf, Musa, Isa and others. The story of Prophet Musa salam, and Pharaoh, also known as Pharaoh, is one of the stories most often repeated in the Quran is the story of Musa salam, and Pharaoh. Many of the stories found in the Qur'an are repeated throughout the Qur'an. The purpose of this repetition is manifold. 1. The different ways of presenting these stories brings out the linguistic eloquence of the Qur'an. 2. Presenting similar teachings in various ways leaves the matter fresh in the minds of the readers who anxiously read these stories and deprive benefit from them. Third, Presenting the same over and over again in difficult forms demonstrates the reader the great significance of these particular stories. Hence, one can clearly see in the life of Prophet Musa salam, that when Allah wills to protect and preserve something, no one can foil his plans. This is what happened with Prophet Musa salam, when his mother put him in the river Nile to protect him from Pharaoh's guards. They were killing the sons of children of Israel. Allah revealed to Musa's mother to cast him into the river and not to fear, nor grieve. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised her to bring him back to her and make him one of the messengers. Such is the perfect will and knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
We can also learn from the story of Prophet Musa a.s. that no matter how powerful the forces of evil might be, there comes a time when they are brought down, when they are brought down and destroyed. Pharaoh and his forces were destroyed swiftly. Pharaoh misled and befooled his people who thoughtlessly obeyed him. They were in fact an evil-doing folk. So, when they angered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Most High, He punished them and drowned them all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them an example for later generations. This is one of the clearest lessons of the story. A believer can also see in the story of Prophet Musa salam and Pharaoh the effect of Iman or faith when it enters into the hearts. The sorcerers whom Pharaoh had gathered together were willingly to obey his orders for some worldly grains. However, as soon as they realized the truth of Musa's call, they immediately gave up the grains they were hoping to get and firmly stood for the right and truth in the face of the cruel Pharaoh and prostrated towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A little while before they were sorcerers and now they were righteous martyrs who would prefer to die for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their faith. Their faithfulness to the truth is a lesson for all. Here we have come to an end. We should all learn from this lesson that once someone sees and recognizes the truth, he should never comprise or sacrifice that truth for anything in this world. The stories of the Quran are not meant for pure enjoyment. Their purpose is to present very important moral teachings. They contain a great deal of guidance that the Quran has to offer. Jazakallahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.